Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's, looking at a Land Rover uh, Evogue. So it's the same as the Discovery Sport, it's the same engine, and this is going to be the same issue. So, quick story about this one is it's had a visit at Land Rover, um, they've replaced the EGR valves and the cam chain as a precaution. Uh, not under warranty, the customer's paid for it. Uh, the car's only done 50,000 miles. So, You've got an engine management light on here. Now it's had a new EGR valve yesterday, so the day after the lights come back on. Just gonna go in and look at the fault codes. Let that screen adjust, sorry. So the code's back, PO49B EGR valve insufficient flow detected. Um, now Land Rover has suggested to her, which is why she's called me out here, they've suggested to her to get the DPF cleaned out, because um, that's what's going to be causing her problem. Um, now I've come here to clean the DPF, let me just try and get this sitting on the steering, it doesn't really have a, doesn't have a mount. So if we go to live data, so we'll sit this over here somewhere where it's not falling off. D, no, D, I, F, F, differential pressure we need to look for. Here we go. That one there, you can see we've got zero KPA. Now, if we rev the vehicle up to sort of two and a half thousand RPM or three thousand RPM ish. We have one KPA on the DPF, which is like 10 millibars. Okay, so like I said there, you've got 10 millibars of pressure at 2500 RPM. Uh, if we go up to like 3500 RPM, it goes to two, two, sorry, two KPA, 20 millibars. So I'm gonna give you my diagnosis on this. Um, now, I will say this is my, my own diagnosis. So if anyone's got different opinions, you're welcome to them, but what my opinion is on these. Now I'm doing these exact vehicles at least 10 of these a week I'm seeing with the same issue. Um, I've seen lots with DPF errors but I've come across a dozen now with this issue where EGR flow is insufficient and it's not got a DPF problem and the DPF pressure is low. Um, now I found out myself the hard way on this because someone came to me with an EGR fault like that and I cleaned out their EGR valve um, which I normally do and it does work um, but only if your DPF is blocked and it's causing DPF issues. Now this one doesn't have a blocked DPF she's already changed the EGR valves and I know what the problem is insufficient flow is getting to the EGR valve because the DPF flow is too low the DPF's not, not restricted at all so it's going to be broken inside if we come underneath look at the DPF there now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this. But if you shake the DPF, I can hear a rattle inside. So the ceramic has come away from the from the casing. Not sure if you can hear that on video. And if we come to the exhaust tips. You can see we've got a lot of loose, loose ash there. This turns into dust, you can, you can get that out of the exhaust system. Look at that. Sorry, I let the screen focus there. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be cleaning the DPF on this vehicle, uh, even though they have suggested it needs one, it doesn't. Um, so I hope that explains it properly to you, I'll try and explain it a little bit better with what I have. 
Uh, I'll use this from my smart safe diagnostic machine there. Um, so you just say if we pretend that this is your exhaust system, okay? Um, you've got your flow coming down to the DPF, which is here. Um, and then you've got this pipe here, which diverts back to your EGR here. So when your, EG, your exhaust flow is coming in, you know, you've got some back pressure on the DPF, which, which then causes a diversion of, the, of some of the gas pressure back to your EGR valve over here. When you take out the center of this, so you've got no, no restriction in the flow, your exhaust gas is just flowing through and none of it, or not as much, is diverting back through the low pressure EGR back here. And that's why you're getting the code. And that's just my opinion on it. So basically, if you've got a low pressure EGR code on these, um, a lot of people think straight away, change the EGR valve and the low EGR uh, cooler filter or the cooler itself. Um, most of the time I've seen loads of them, it's a waste of time. Um, I think this fault code is has been misinterpreted by lots of people, um, changing the EGR cooler and the EGR, and it doesn't work because the code comes back. Um, so that's it, I hope that's gonna help someone and I'll see you in the next video.